In step seven of the SEO copywriting series, we're going to add in and optimize our paragraphs. So let's just say we are working with a, just a regular piece of content like this, okay? If we're working with a brew or content blocks, there's a little bit more work to this, but it's because of how it creates the table of contents, um, it's actually ideal. So what we want to do is we want to go over here to our post. Now, we've already added our title and our slug and our intro and our YouTube video and our call to action button. We did all those in the previous lessons. Now we're to the point of adding those paragraphs. So if you look at your content, we're going to take a look at what we have here. This would be your intro, right? Um, Oh, this is a bad example. Okay, hold on. Let me grab another example. Actually, let me grab, well, oh, that one's in another spot. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, let's do the Calabunga Bay because that's the example I was showing earlier. All right. So here, um, in this order, I have our title already. I've got our description. Now down here, Calabunga Bay, Henderson Water Park. This would be, um, you would have an intro, okay? Calabunga Bay Water Park, Nevada attracts thousands of people. The park's open. So something like that, that might be your intro, just the first line. But then we want to do planning a visit. So we might take this here. We're going to copy this. And we're going to go over here and we're going to add a content block. Now we can add a table of contents, a general content block a content block that has two columns, one that has three columns, an IDX broker showcase widget, that's for our real estate listings, embedding a map, um, a horizontal divider, or a full image picture. Now, if I'm using video on the top, I'm not also adding a video, um, a full width image usually. So one or the other is going to go up top, a full width image or a video, preferably a video. So all we want is a general content block. So here, I'm just going to paste this in here. And remember, the title was going to be planning a visit. Now, keep in mind, when you're titling these, these are going to become part of that table of contents. They need to be three or four words at the most. And they often should include a keyword um, if, it, if it's appropriate. We don't want every piece to include a keyword, the main keyword. That would be too much. So something, something... Um, we could put getting, um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to change this to put about the water park. Because water park was kind of my secondary thought there anyway. And water park is part of the title. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. Now, what I want is, uh, what I do is I put a space between three, if there's ever three sentences, I'll put a space between them because when somebody's reading on a mobile device, it is really hard to read chunky text. Now, in this particular case, I had my writer already create the spaces so I didn't have to think about it, which is great. But in each content block, what we want to do is we want to have some sort of a design element, either a video, a picture, um, bullet pointed list, have it be a two column or three column design instead, have it have a quote, um, notes, that kind of thing. So let me show you a couple examples. So take something that's important that you think might look like, okay, that would be good to highlight and go like this and we can just put a quote. Okay. So now that's going to change. You'll see when we actually go to um, create the preview, that's going to change what that looks like. Okay. Now, also, if there's any link opportunities to other, um, other pages on this website or something external that would be very valuable to the customer, put it in there, but have it open in a new tab. So if I click on this link and I open that pencil and then the wheel, I can click open in a new tab. Always have your external links open in a new tab. In, I often do with the, with internal too, depending on, on what it is. If I if I I don't want to lose the user to lose their spot. Okay, so here's an example. 
Um, this is a, a all about Las Vegas. So I would highlight this and go, well, do I have a blog about Sunset Station? Let me check. So I can just start typing in Sunset Station and take a look if anything comes up. Now, if, if I am um, doing this myself, I'm now going to make myself a note that I want to order a blog about Sunset Station. Okay. Um, Fiesta Station. Do I have anything on that? Let's see. Green Valley Ranch. That's another casino. So I probably don't have those on there. So I'm kind of looking going, no, okay, there really is not another external link or internal link or anything that's appropriate. I like to put links in the paragraphs, but there really isn't anything there. So add content block, and now I'm going to do a horizontal divider. Okay, and now that horizontal divider, let me show you that again. Between every paragraph, go to add content block and add a horizontal divider. Now, if you're not using the content blocks and you're using a straight WYSIWYG as, a, as in the one I have on LoriBallon.com, whoops, hold on here. So in this case, you're actually going to take the whole piece of content from up to the, up to the top there and you're going to go into the blog and you're just going to paste the whole thing because we're not, oops, in the visual tab. We're not, we're not using content editors. Okay. So now if the writer I've already pre-ordered has made these heading two tags, you don't have to worry about those. They're already done for you. Okay. Um, if you're, if you order from writers, you just have them do those H2 tags. Now, um, here, so you would have your intro up at the top. Let me just paste that above that H2 tag. There we go. And you're going to have, then you're going to have those, right? Well, in between each paragraph, just hit return, go up to insert short code and go to divider. Okay. And then it'll already be preset for you as well. And so it'll say divider, go to top, just insert that. And then you can just copy that in between each paragraph. Okay. And then in doing so, I'll hit preview so you can see what happens. Nothing. Why did it not work? One, two, three, four. Maybe I need one more. I might have a set to five. I want, I'll probably want to change that to four. Yep. There it is. I'll go in and change that one, two, three, four, five, and then the bottom. Okay. So there's your table of contents automatically created. Okay. Now back to the design elements. We want to, we, I showed you how to make a quote. Okay. You could also do a note. So to do a note, just highlight what you want and hit, I, on my Mac, I do command X, just cut it, then go to insert short code and go to notes. And then you're going to paste whether you want the note to be there in the content block. Okay. And then you can pick the color you want the note to be. And what it does is it actually just highlights the background and creates a color to break that up. Okay. So every paragraph should have a different element. So you've got a quote, then you've got a color, then you've got maybe a, uh, an image of some sort, maybe another note with a different color, something that possibly has bullet points. You could even do something that's all bold and italics or change the font color. Um, you know, something like that. And there's other short codes in here. You can use a tool tip, um, a little pop-up box, a testimonial can be slipped in there. There's animations. You can have an animation drop in. So there's lots of things to play with here on the ultimate short codes, but we want to be breaking up those chunky text is the whole idea. So you drag each one in, you make sure it has an H2 title, you add your design elements, and then if any internal linking, if it, there's any links to another page on your website that would be appropriate or an external site, you want to include those, you know, maybe one in each paragraph if you can. 
And then you're going to insert um, a horizontal divider or a short code divider in between each one. So that is how you add your paragraphs when you're doing your SEO copywriting.